You might be asking yourself, Beef, how did you end up with a dolphin's head on your head? Well, you know how sometimes you just want to go head hunting? No, just me? Um, I felt that urge and I, I did a thing. I did, I did a very terrible thing. I have been, I, by the way, the dolphin head looks a lot better when you can actually see the eyes. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Um, I decided I needed a few more heads. By the way, I got a lime sheep head now. And I, I had the white sheep head that I didn't even realize I had. I got to go put that in the shop. But yeah, we got to go put those in the shop. But I was hunting some some heads because I think I think this is something that's going to consume me all season. I want to collect all the, the mob heads this season. I really do. I think it's just going to be a fun little thing. Anyway, I bumped into a, uh, a ship, an, uh, a sunken ship. And guess what it had? A buried treasure map that hadn't been found by anyone. And look at where it takes me. Right over here-ish. This is Impulse's area, by the way. Um, I kind of feel bad digging around here, but he won't he won't notice a thing. What's going on? I thought okay, never mind. Um, he won't notice he won't notice a thing, right, guys? Right? I hope he hasn't actually dug it up. Each one of these points to a different treasure, right? I hope so, because this could be a massive waste of time and a terrible thing to do to his area here. So let's be careful with our, our digging. Um, hopefully he doesn't roll up on us and wonder what we're doing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're going to dig up one of these blocks and we're going to see a nice little chest and it's going to have a heart of the sea and it's going to... Uh, hi. <laughs> um, just digging for treasure. Oh, this is, um, this is awkward. I, uh, it, it, it looks worse than I think I found this day one. Oh. Well then, gonna start placing some blocks, I guess. Are you sure? Yep, got my first diamonds from here. Can't never forget those first ones. I'm so sorry. This place will be as good as new. <laughs> oh man, okay, let's start placing some blocks back. There. Good as new. In today's episode, I wanted to build a lighthouse. But guess what? I was out here looking for a spot. I'm thinking either here, either down here, or over there. Um, I was out here looking for a spot, and I saw a curious little dolphin jumping around. And guess whose dolphin it is? It's Doc M77's dolphin. Um, uh, hey, Doc. I found your... Dolphin. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't even type. He's got, he's got a 77 diamond reward going. 77 diamonds, guys. Oh, he's going to oh, he's going to be so pumped. Look at him just jumping around. He's excited. He knows. What? Yeah. He he I mean, we share the same ocean. For real. We share we share the same ocean, so he probably just swam. I tied it up at my shore. Uh, at my place by the shore. Oh, he's going to be so pumped. And we're going to make 77 diamonds. Yes. Yo. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, dude, you're going to be so excited. Oh, man. Tiger. It's, it's the best day ever. Wait, it's been I'm, a long time. Oh, yeah. Just follow. Yep. And then turn. turn. Yep. Up, there you up. go. Oh my god, okay, it's gonna be expensive, this way, this but way. I, I don't care, okay. 77 diamonds, right? That was the that was the thing. I haven't really had a look around here, man. Okay, but uh, yeah, yeah, I need to... Tiger is more important now. This is my village, yeah, yeah. T See, I was, I was looking for a place to build my lighthouse, and I saw something swimming in the ocean, and I thought, hey, could that be uh, oh, Doc's Tuck is, Tucker? Oh my god. It, it's totally Tucker. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wait, stop, Tucker. Really? Tucker? Yeah, Tucker! Really? Isn't that your dolphin, Tucker? Really? <laughs> what? Love. What's the problem? 
<laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this to me, man. I, 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 what are you talking about? I found Tucker. It's Tucker, bro. You, um, I'm... do you think somebody else has a dolphin named Tucker? <laughs> Listen, beef. You think you can flim flam the goat father? Mm. See. I... No. No, no. You will regret. You will regret this. No, no regret. Yes, you will. No, it's tu mm. it's Tucker. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. okay. You regret that. Sure, you will. Mm. Guys, what have I done? I was just trying. I mean, the seventy-seven diamonds weren't even important to me. I just wanted to reunite a man with his dolphin. I didn't know it was Tugger. Tugger. I named it Tucker. I mean, that's a much more common name, right, Tucker? Who names anything Tucker? I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen to me now, but that's okay. We'll, I mean, well, we got to do what we got to do. We'll, we'll, I'm not under any immediate danger, I hope. Um, maybe we can make it up to him somehow. I don't know. Tucker, come on, man. You should have known it was Tucker. Oh. Anyway, let's try to forget any threats to our well-being and uh, and move on and work on today's project, which is a lighthouse. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the lighthouse. Perfect. This is what I wanted. I think I'm going to build the lighthouse over here, but I don't want it to be kind of like up top like this. I want it to drop down a little bit. Historically, lighthouses are usually built on a lower le I don't know what I'm talking about, but I want it to be a little bit lower because if it's too high up, because the lighthouse has got to be tall, right? So if it's up here, it's going to tower over everything in the town. So what I want to do is build it a little bit lower here, just a tad bit lower so that a few of these blocks are almost hidden by the, um, by the terrain, right? And I think I think I have a pretty cool design. So here's the thing. I designed one in my creative world. Here, you guys can see it. I'll actually show you. I love it. I love the way it looks, but it looks a little too detailed for the town. If you'll notice, I mean, the town buildings are all very, very, and I want to keep this sort of feel for the town because it's it's vanilla generation for, for the most part. There's a couple buildings like that one that isn't. But for the most part, all these are vanilla generated buildings or at least designed exactly after vanilla generated buildings. So I don't want the, the, the lighthouse to look that detailed. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of like dress that lighthouse down a little bit um, and make it a little bit less detailed. And I want to sort of bury it over here. Not bury it, obviously, but I want to sort of place it over here so that it doesn't tower over every single thing. I mean, it's still going to tower over every single thing in the town. But uh, maybe maybe with it down here, it won't be as dramatic. We're going to start with like this orange sandstone or red, I guess. It's called red sandstone. Well, let's be honest. It's orange. Uh, we're going to start with that at the base. I'm going to make things a little bit taller than I did in my creative world. Because I felt like that was a little too short. So we're going to start by, I guess, putting in a few more layers at the bottom of it. And again, I have to keep in mind, I desperately, ooh, this is interesting. I desperately want to make things super, super detailed. And I got to keep in mind that I got to not detail it as much. I mean, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but we can do it. One, two, three, and one. So let's do two rows of this. We'll probably put the entrance over here. Now I'm wondering, hi, Tucker. You're going to cause me some great harm. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering maybe if we do, the second part smooth stone or maybe we do it like with these guys uh or maybe we just do two rows of this stuff here let's try let's see what this looks like two rows of this and then we'll move on from there there's the basic shape um so now I have to decide, I have to decide whether I like this or not. Uh, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of the orange and the, and the sandstone together, but I feel like a lighthouse has to be visible from a, a distance, especially from the ocean and stuff. So it's probably useful. I don't like these blocks, first of all. So let's get rid of these blocks and let's actually use these guys here, the smooth redstone. I don't think I have more of them though. That's going to be a problem. Let me think, how can I make this look... A little more villagey. I'm not. I, I don't know. Maybe we have to get rid of the orange. Let's replace the orange with with uh this this sandstone, like the regular sandstone. 
and let's see what that looks like. Let's see if it gives us enough of a contrast. So I tried the regular sandstone blocks and I just wasn't feeling it. However, with these squared blocks here, like what are they called anyway? Are they called chiseled? No, they're not. These are the chiseled, the cut. With the cut sandstone blocks here, I feel like those work a lot better because they're more common in the village, right? There's some there, there's some there. Um, and they're definitely more common in the bigger buildings. And this is a bigger building. So I want this, again, to look like something that would nat naturally generate. So I think I'm tr I think I'm finding a decent balance. I desperately want to put a ton of detail into this thing. But I'm trying to resist the urge. <sighs> okay. So far, so good. I think what I'm going to do now is add one more layer up top there of the sandstone. And then start adding the rotating lights. I'm a little bit worried about what to do here, though. Maybe we can do some slabs. Because I, I don't like the, the harsh transition there. How about, would slabs look good or would, would maybe some more of these, these guys look good? Let's find out. Shall we? Um, let's see. I guess I can I'll probably have to do something like this. Let's get up there. Oops. Oops. Let's do... Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna like this too much. Let's see. No, I am not a fan of that. But will the slabs help at all? Prob ah, dang it. Probably not, actually. Because it's still gonna be like the same height. It just won't have that little section. So, hmm. Maybe, hold on. Maybe slabs on the whole thing might help. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's time to actually build the system that will make the lights rotate. And this is actually pretty easy, guys. Here's the thing. Back in the Minecraft days, I remember I built a I built a lighthouse and it was so complicated. Like I was using minecarts with like angled rails and stuff and detector rails and all that one detector. Was it was there detector rails back then? I think there was. I hope there was. I know I used minecarts somehow. And, um, and and then that's how I was getting these lights to flash and stuff. But these days, we have observer blocks. These guys are so handy. If you want to make this like rotating light lighthouse thing for yourselves, follow this pattern. You see how these guys are placed right here? These observers? Follow this observer pa pa pattern. Exactly. Sorry. Um, and then you'll see this. There's like a little pulsing light here at the end of this observer. Then all you got to do is have each one of these face up like so and you'll notice these lights will start flashing in a circular pattern and now you place your two rows of redstone lamps look at that it is now flashing in a circular pattern and it is beautiful let's take a look at what we've got so far for oh i really wanted those guys there okay here let's get those guys first you can't you can't have too many scaffoldings um check this out this is what we've got so far okay again it's looking kind of bland but i think that's that's the only way to go here is bland so that it matches the rest of the town now we got to put a roof on it once the roof is done hopefully it'll bring everything together and everything will look nice and new and wonderful and lovely let's take a look at it uh let's take a further away look at it sometimes things look better when you're further away okay okay that's not bad it does look like it fits in i mean it's not as detailed as i wanted it to be but it does look like it fits in yeah that's not bad i think if we add a little i think the the ceiling or the roof sorry needs a little bit more uh possibly another little layer of slabs can i make this landing nailed it um Possibly even, I wonder, again, I run the risk of making it a little too detailed right now. Let's see if this looks good like that. And then we can add another block up top there. Here we go. And, okay, I actually like that ceiling, the roof. I keep saying ceiling. I actually like that roof better. Oh, we're, miss we're missing a thing here. We're missing a block here. Can I, can I make this? If I can stick this landing, I'm aiming for right there. If I can stick this landing, you guys better be proud of me. Oh, gulp. I almost died. That's okay. That's okay. There, we placed the block. I think all of the blocks around here have been placed. Now, what I think we're going to do is we're going to add um, a fence, or sorry, a wall, a sandstone wall at the top. Oh, maybe we should use, maybe we should actually use fences. Yeah, bring in some of that uh, jungle fence that we're using in the in the village. 
just for a little flag because I think a little color at the top of it would be great. I have a flag, a couple buildings with flags here, very, very small flags right there. And I'm, oh, I'm using birch. Yeah, that makes more sense. Birch fits in better. We're going to add some buttons as well because we want this thing to look more authentic. Uh, ooh, did I add them at the top half? Oh, okay. I think it was a dog. Oh, dang it. I knew that was going to happen. There we go. Nailed it. And then, ooh, thank you very much. Scaffolding. Um, I did add the flag. I don't know if it looks any good. I haven't flown away to check it out yet. Let's check it out together. And then maybe we can add some more jungle buttons if necessary. But I think, oh, maybe a, a layer of jungle buttons at the top there might be good. All right, let's do it. What do you think, Tucker? Ooh, okay, wait. I hate that flag. Um, I'm going to have to remove probably that one bit. I think, yeah, if I remove that one. Oh, goodness. That one. Ah, I'm not very good at this flying thing. That one bit at the top there. I should be fine. Ooh. Dang it. There we go. I think it looks fantastic. And look at it from here, guys. It doesn't even stick out like a sore thumb. I think I accomplished what I set out to accomplish. It looks like it fits in. But it, it's definitely a special building. Oh, man, look at it. Let's see what it looks like when you're in the town. Can't even see it from here. There we go. That's that's it sticks out a little bit from here. But that's okay. That's not too bad. That's really not too bad. It could have been worse. I think if I used that uh, red sandstone, it would have been a little bit too much. So I'm glad I went with just a regular sandstone. And then we had a little bit of variation with those, uh, I guess, the carved blocks? The cut sandstone blocks? I think that's the color or the, the word we're looking for here. Looks pretty good, though. Anyway, we're off to go decorate the spits. You guys totally messed up all my wheat plants here. Ooh. The diamond pile has been moved again. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, wow. I really like this. I really like this. This looks fantastic. Oh, this is so good. Who built this? I really like this. The other one, I mean, the other one was fine. But this one looks so much more epic. Oh, that is fantastic. Anyway, let's go. Ooh, should we check on the wool? Probably no sales, right, Jeb? I just refilled this. Actually, I, I didn't do it on camera. Oh, a couple of sales here. I didn't do it on camera, but somebody bought all of the white wool, all of the black wool, a bunch of the gray wool, and I uh, I refilled it all, and I made a bunch of diamonds on it. Let's see if anybody picked up any heads here. Nope, no heads. These are the new heads for sale. The spits I've already um, removed these blocks here and replace them with sand. All we're going to do really is add some some palm trees. Somebody ordered a bunch of brown llamas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm very excited. I didn't want... I, I, you know what I was going to do? I'm still going to do it. I'm going to have... I guess I can leave this rail here, but I'm going to have a hopper underneath so that it collects the mine cards when people break the mine cards because then I make a little extra dough. <gasps> Somebody took a lead. Somebody bought four llamas. Four llamas, guys. Matilda. This is amazing. Don't look away from me. This is a moment. We're sharing a mo- There you go. I could kiss you. I, I guess I have to cut. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you do that with your head, huh? That's interesting. Do you always do that? Or is it just when you're looking at me? Oh, yeah. Look at that. You're, you're jumping around. Let's call you House of Pain. House of... Stain. <laughs> you know, because poop. Um, Guys, we sold four llamas? Are you kidding me? We have to restock the brown llamas. We only have one left. Oh, this is so amazing. You know, somebody suggested, ouch, somebody suggested I keep the llamas in here for easy transportation, and that is a great idea. I think what I'm going to try to do is build a portal in here and transport them through the portal whenever I need them. And, man, we, oh, we sold four llamas, guys, and a lead. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, the lead prices are very expensive. One diamond per lead, but nobody thinks about the leads when they come to buy a llama. So they're like, oh, I forgot my lead. Oh, wait, he's got leads for sale. One per lead. Oh, no, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have to buy it. I'm so happy right now, Matilda. Got the palm trees all around the spits, and now... 
Now, I think I'm going to add a few more of these like little ground ones. Nothing too special. Just something like that every once in a while. Just to add a little bit more color and depth. And I'm also going to um, put some of these blocks down to, I guess, texture the ground a little bit. I hate the fact that these that these blocks are also similar. You know what I mean? Like this, it's just too much. It looks too uniform. We want to have different textured sand and stuff. I know in real life, it's probably, I mean, that's that's what it, that's what you get. You get this, this is the texture that you get. Oh, you know what? I don't have, this is the last of the, okay. Maybe just, uh, maybe just one more back here <laughs> because I'm out of, I'm out of leaves. That's okay. We'll make some leaves or we'll farm, oh, we'll farm some leaves. My mouse wheel is going to cause me more trouble than it's worth. Okay. So now I got to get some more for over here. But in the meantime, let's maybe dig out just a few spots here and there just to give it a little bit of texture here. And then we'll replace them with like smooth stone and stuff like that. Much better. A little more texture, a little more depth and a little more beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, hi, Matilda. She's she's gorgeous. OK, so down here, I think all I'm going to do, I'm not going to have. Oh, did I leave the chest? Ah, oh, dang it. I got the hopper, but I... Oh, you know what? You know what? Magic. Ma... Oh, you know what? I don't have to do that either because I think there's a crafting table right over here. Perfect. Hopper into the chest, and this way I can recycle uh, rail carts. Mine carts. That's what I was looking for. I can't believe I made a sale. Matilda, I'm so proud of you. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have a little bit more color to the exhibit now. I thought about putting like a, a llama blanket on them, but I don't know. I, I don't think that would be. That would be too much, I think. I like the way he is set up now. He's all textured and stuff. He's looking pretty cool. Um, speaking of which, let's get some of these guys out of here. Uh, Dang it. I don't have any more steps. I don't have any more smooth stone. Okay, we're going to have to be strategic with these things. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely give it a thumbs up. Share it amongst your friends. I would be very, very grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode where hopefully no harm will come to us by way of the Goat Father. Bye-bye. <sighs>